Hi, it's February 6th, 2013. I'm hoping that you guys will give me a bunch of scripture for this. I found some and I'll put it below, but um, these are the, the really hard words for me to, to put out because I, no matter how much God confirms things through scripture. I still have trouble with these type of words. Um, but I'll read it and you guys take it for how you will and please pray over this. Um, test the spirits and, and pray over this word, please. Um, through tragedy, I'm sorry, though tragedy strikes afar, open your eyes now, my children. Your earth groans for reconciliation with its creator. Your planet will now experience even more chaos. My hand shakes your earth. Though it may be far from you, my hand shakes your earth. Maybe you don't feel the shaking where you live now, but my hand shakes your earth. Soon many will feel and hear of this devastation. The clouds of ash will rise above the earth and the red lava will escape its place within. So many earth changes, so much destruction. My hand controls all of this. And soon all eyes will see that they need to call upon the creator. People will flee the cities and find no comfort in the countryside, for there is no escaping what is coming to your earth. The violence in your earth changes you will see has never been seen before. Many buildings will fall and your paved streets will crumble. Ashes will fall from your skies and fires will burn around you. Your mountains will be made flat and your flatlands upheaved. There will be no direction safe to flee, and your comforts of today will be yours no longer. It is my hope that many will see me through these signs, stubborn people. We must push these things upon your earth now. Wake up, lost ones. Wake up. Your hands, I'm sorry, your heads are buried in the sand. Can't you see the signs coming upon you? They may seem far away, but they will be growing near to you now. Wake up once, great nation. See me through the ashes. Look at me in the rubble that was created by my hand. Wake up once, great nation. You have pulled from the mouth of the beast a hook and left him to reap what he sows in your once great nation. He has no mercy and wants as many to fall as he can receive. You are meat to him, just a number. Woe to you, once great nation. Your hearts waned cold and your love for me departed you. You will be destroyed before the very eyes of your inhabitants. Darkness is sure to fall and many will see their creator's hand in these days of destruction. Many will call out for me and I will receive them. Others will cry out to me and they will be left to suffer for I know the depths of each man's heart. Watch now, my watchmen, for what you have been waiting for. The birth pains become more frequent now. The shaking will awaken you. Do not fear, for these things must happen, for this is what is written. All words written must come to pass. You are protected, my sheep, but you must warn the others. For them there will be no protection. Soon chaos will abound in your once great nation. Awaken, open your eyes, darkness approaches. The sun is setting on your once great nation, and you will soon see that things will cease to exist the way they are, and your comforts will be gone. Many will perish, and many will turn to me. This is all in my word, and will all come to pass. I have warned you, once great nation, no more will your decadence pollute this world. The friends you once had will be your friends no longer, and you will be ever so pleased with your demise. You have been warned.